another Pixel experience update for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 after a long time. So let's get it started and watch till the end I will try to provide the full review of that Pixel OS. So here is the Pixel OS totally based on pure stock Android as you people already know about Pixel experience type ROM so there is no customization no extra customization but we will get Moto Dolby by default and another thing will be device info let me show you from our device specific settings which is device settings you guys can just enable earpiece gain headphone gain you guys already know about that MI enhance sound enhancer and ambient display and fps overlay these are the features actually which is extra without this you guys will not get anything extra just l remember one thing you will not even get the traffic indicator anything and you can't change your uh, network segment like uh, 2g uh, 2g uh, wcdma everything you guys will get only 4g and 3g just uh, let me show you right now here network section here preferred network only 4g and 3g is available nothing more but 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 we have here the network traffic monitor which is really interesting standard as well as it is pixel os i i just discovered this right now this is in network section it's totally totally insane i didn't notice it but right now i found it here network traffic monitor you guys can enable this one and show data users which is on a status bar just like that as it is based on totally pure stock android so you guys will get black uh, theme on control center and it's perfectly working this cool no issues and if you want to enable battery percentage of course you have to open the battery section then of course enable battery percentage as usual let me show you from the system as it is g apps built that means you guys don't need to worry about any g apps just download and install the from that's it because it already g apps included we have wallpaper and customization just like this dark theme themed icons as usual we have wallpaper colors and some basic colors which you like you can select by default we will get some stock wallpapers you guys can select according to your choice then we have the display settings as usual adaptive brightness and prevent accidental wake up if you want to enable that feature it's really perfectly working an icon manager which is a cool feature that is called the as, as it is regular system as we always found it as status bar icons then we have here the battery percentage time which we always want to show then we have the live display section as usual and color calibration reading mode okay let me show you Double tap to wake, double tap sleep, everything is perfectly working. There is no issues with that, and I already uh, tested an ambient display if you want to use, and I don't recommend that. Uh, these are the features actually we have in settings, there is nothing more. So, let's talk about call recording. Yes, of course, we have call recording here. When you make a phone call, just go to more option, and when your phone call will be connected, you guys will be able to record. So, you start recording, and it will be recorded a recording failed just right now maybe due to the short call so you guys can actually get that feature no issues with that and the smoothness as it is based on pixel experience and there is nothing extra feature so smoothness just mind-blowing in 3gb variant it is perfectly perfectly working without any issues and i recommend to use this from if you don't uh, have any problem with the customization if you love pure stock experience of course then this is another best choice for you guys of course you can go with that and now let's uh, let me clear one thing a uh, gcam is working on now open the gcam and i'm using here the parrot gcam and which is uh, right now working and i tested and you can try any gcam according to your choice which which one you like and i think it should work sometimes you can uh, face freezing issues but it will be solved just 
uh, get back to the home screen or app drawer and then clear the recent and then open the cam again it will work fine no issues so you guys can see here I already taken one photo right now and this is working so gcam is working don't worry about that and another thing which is google map is working or not let me show you guys and it's perfectly working no issues and i've already rooted this device and it is by default safety net pass there is no issues safety net pass so banking application any official application is perfectly usable by default you guys will get that google camera go and this kind of camera which is perfectly working i already checked and of course we have the motor audio uh, to increase the music experience to improve sound quality and everything by default you guys will get that uh, widget section of course we have that wizards it's like chrome wizards and clock wizards these clock wizards are available here and then of course we have by default pixel launcher as it is pixel os so this is uh, really good that's why the smoothness is mind blowing and of course you guys already know about the control center is totally black and we have the um, is QR code scanner here by default you can do that and flashlight and other things battery saver and near share by near near by share whatever and data can be enabled from there these are the things actually I had to show Geekbench scores and CPU throttling I don't recommend to watch these things actually in every custom room because I found in real life performance it is really really good so that's why you guys don't need to check this thing and let's talk about the battery backup you start at night okay let me show you uh, at night 1129 I just keep my device like this I kept it uh, when the data not not data, the mobile network was in 3g mode and Wi-Fi was turned on and then in the morning 6 um, 47 I checked still the battery was 48 percent that means zero percent battery draining can you imagine that it's really really cool so that's why I can recommend you to use a new daily life it's a daily driver custom rom if you want to try you can do that and really thanks to uh, the builder for building this one hope you guys like the work and i will recommend him to uh, do more better work for better experience so thank you for watching